in freezing states, you need to make sure that the brakes, the brake drums, the vent of the front vent is closed. The water can get from the front when you drive, it get inside into the diaphragm and there's a spring and it freezes. When the diaphragm is frozen and the spring pushes on it, it cracks like grass. You might say, well, you have holes in the front, right? Here. This one hole, this one hole. This is for what you call it, uh, Pascal's law. Pascal's law, which means when you push from one side, you have to have a vent. Those are venting holes. This is a vent, another vent, about four of them to allow the front diaphragm, the two diaphragm, to be able to move. If you seal these holes, you will have no venting and the piston is not going to move. That is called the Pascal's law. Which means you, when you apply pressure on one side, high pressure, you have to have a low pressure on the other side. Well, I took care of that, the front entrance of the, the board to the brakes, and that drum is closed in the front, so there is no snow or water will get inside, especially when you work in sub-freezing temperatures. If you, if you don't pay attention to the brake drums, this one needs my attention. This one needs to be closed so it doesn't allow water to get inside. If you cannot close it tightly, you put a tape on it, or you put anything that prevent water from getting inside. This one is sealed. I got three sealed, one is not. So I will have to get a hammer and push that rubber plug in the hole to prevent this drum from failing on me. If this drum fails, I don't have an accident. Especially if you leave the truck for a few days, you have a frozen air drum on the brakes, you start the truck, you apply air to the emergency, you suddenly get a ruptured diaphragm. Yes, the hammer took care of it. You can, every, you can solve everything with the hammer. 